I'm Hal Meeks, and what I'm going to talk to you today about is uh, storyboarding. Now, storyboarding is something that um, a lot of people will avoid doing when they first start making movies because it's kind of a pain in the neck. You just want to go out and shoot some stuff. But the reality is storyboarding will save you a lot of time and will allow you to work things out before you go out and shoot. If you're working with actors that you're not paying, well, you know, they may want to like break for lunch and then not come back. So it's very important that you have everything worked out ahead of time before you go out and do a shoot. The other thing is it allows you to brainstorm and work out ideas. Um, so what are the necessary tools that you're going to need to actually do a storyboard? Well, what you really need is something like this, a um, set of post-it notes. Uh, these are three inch by three inch post-it notes. These are ones I like to use. And the other thing you need is a ballpoint pen or some other thing to draw with, but I like ballpoint pens myself. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and let's make a quick storyboard. I've already drawn some stuff out, so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing is I've got a shot right here. Uh, the guy is basically he's looking for looking at a banana. Okay, so he wants to get the banana. Next shot is we got right here. We got him climbing the stairs here and uh, reaching for the banana. Fourth frame here is we have him falling, and then we got one last frame here. And I'll put it right down here, and that's frame where the banana hits him on the head. Boink. So we've got a four frame storyboard that basically tells a story. He tries to reach the banana, falls, and the banana falls and hits him on the head. But, you know, this, the storyboard is really lacking a lot because um, a lot of the shots, as you can see here, uh, these three shots are essentially very similar. And then we do have one close-up here. So let's see if we can fix that and make it a little more interesting. Because a couple things we want to do is change our framing around and also our camera position. So, for instance, I've got a shot right here. That is a shot, an over-the-shoulder shot from the side here. Um, let me pull this down a little bit so you can see it a little better. Okay. And then I've got this other shot here, which is from, this, from the front. So let's go with the, go with the over-the-shoulder shot here. Okay, the next thing we got to do is we want to set up a conflict here. So how can we do that? Well, for one thing, we need to be able to identify with our protagonist. So here we are. I'm gonna, I've done a close-up of the protagonist now, and he's frowning right here. Next shot we're going to do is, let's go right here, we've got a shot of what looks like a feather, but I swear it's a banana. I swear it is. So we've got a close-up here of the banana. Okay, so let's put the shot aside. We'll come back to this in just a minute. Okay, next shot. We'll do another close-up here. And so now he's smiling, going, aha, uh -huh, I think I've got an idea here. All right, so let's do our next shot. So next shot right here is we'll go ahead and do our shot that we had here of him climbing the stairs. So here we are. We're using that shot again. Let me pull it in a little bit so you can see it in the frame. Okay, lovely. Okay, next shot. We're going to do a close-up here because what we want to do is build some tension. Okay, like in any good cartoon, the uh, protagonist can walk off into space and then suddenly go crash. Okay, so let's go ahead and work with that. In fact... I tell you what let's do. Let's take this frame and let's move it over here and let's put in a shot right here. This is a close-up of him reaching for the banana. So we've got a shot now of him climbing the stairs. We've got a close-up of him reaching for the banana. We've got another shot here of him walking off and then we've got a shot of him hitting the ground. Blam! And then finally again, I'll just go ahead and lay this on top of here so you can see it. we got our final shot. So the important thing here in the storyboard is you want to connect all the dots. You want to give the audience what they're looking for, and you want to lead them towards, towards something. And so we're using a, a variety of different shots here to sort of set up, set up a story, set up some tension, and then have a conclusion right here. So uh, this over-the-shoulder shot can be combined with a close-up over-the-shoulder shot, and then we can have a side shot, a side shot, a side shot, a close-up here, Another very good close-up here, and we can hang on to this for a little bit, and we could give it some tension, and then bam, he falls, and then the banana hits him on the head. So that's really it. That's all you have to do in a storyboard is that start up with your basic framework, and then start filling your shots in, 
so you can build that, that detail because detail is going to be the part that makes the story so rich. All right, well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you.